scraping the bottom of the barrel of the world's global oil economy. These young men are risking their lives by illegally refining diesel from stolen oil in Nigeria's oil-rich Niger Delta. This job is very dangerous, says this young man who doesn't want to give his name. The smoke, the heat, he says. I cannot count the number of people who have died in explosions because they cannot escape the flames. This work is incredibly dangerous. You have a very hot fire heating these barrels of crude oil. The diesel evaporates, passes through these pipes. In here, you have water, which cools the diesel, and it then passes out into these barrels. But as you can see, these barrels with pure diesel are only maybe four or five meters away from a naked flame. Taken by Shell in a helicopter over the Niger Delta, Beneath us, you can see the illegal oil refineries and also shell facilities that have been attacked, the subsequent oil spills and no visible cleanup operations. But while oil companies, government and local communities all blame each other for the cycle of violence, the region is being plundered, warns Shell managing director, with over $2 billion worth of oil stolen every year. As a business, how big is it? You can do the math, but I will put the figure at about 100,000 barrels a day. Illegally stolen? Yeah. Is this just men with buckets, villagers with buckets? No, I think it's, it's probably there are bigger aspects to it. It's not just the one you have in drums. Some have been stolen in, 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 large, in big tankers. These young men collect oil in dugout canoes. They are not the big players. They say they are tired of receiving all the blame and none of the money from Nigeria's oil industry. So they invest their lives in their own survival. Does he see a way out? And so for now, he continues to pour oil on the fire. Christian Purefoy, CNN, the Niger Delta, Nigeria.